If you have a slow connection in remote desktop where you're trying to connect to a remote computer in another location, there's a way you can speed that up. Let's go ahead and click on more options or show options and click on experience. And from here, it's going to automatically detect the quality of your connection, but it doesn't always do a good job doing that. So let's go ahead and change that. Let's change that here. You know, if you want to go with the fastest connection, you go with modem, which will connect at 56 uh, kilobits. However, in most cases, the color is just going to be terrible and you're probably not going to like how the experience is. So you may want to go up to the next option, which is low speed or something even higher. So these connections are all estimates based on Microsoft. So we'll go ahead and choose the two megabit connection. We can also check some additional boxes, but with every box we check, it's going to slow the computer down. So if we also choose allow the desktop background to appear, like if they have a picture or something like that, show font smoothing, etc., etc., it's all going to make everything slow down. You see, if we click on the first option, modem, it unchecks everything. And as we go up the line, it starts checking more things. So by checking the boxes, even though you've gone down to this lower speed, it kind of defeats the purpose. You can also uncheck uh, persistent bitmap caching as well. That will also speed things up. Let's go, go ahead and choose connect and see how it looks at this second option. So we see we get a black screen instead of the blue screen that it was before. And uh, we can also see that things are running fairly quickly, although we have a, f a very fast connection between the computers. And we're gonna notice in general that the colors are not going to be quite as good. But the good news is that it's faster. So that's the way we like it. Let's go ahead and disconnect and go back in at the full connection, just so you can see the difference. So we'll choose the 10 megabits or higher. We'll check the bitmap caching, click connect. And now we can see everything is showing up. Let's go ahead and disconnect one more time and open our remote desktop, go back to experience. Also, if you have a slow connection, you may end up now and then having the connection get dropped and you'll have to reconnect. So make sure the box says to try to reconnect automatically if the connection is dropped. It will try 20 reattempts to uh, connect so you don't have to uh, close everything and go back in again. And that way it'll keep your session exactly the way it was.